One of my favorite things to look for when photographing is texture and patterns. I have found the most interesting patterns are not created by human but in nature. So I did a little research on the different types of naturally occurring patterns and included some of my photos to give a visual example of each. Number one is reflective symmetry. It is a type of symmetry where one half of the object reflects the other half of the object. It is also known as the mirror symmetry. Next is translation symmetry. It is when something has undergone a movement, a shift, or a slide in a specified direction through a specified distance without any rotation or reflection. The distances between points within the figure will not change as well as its, as its angle, size, and shape. The third one is the rotational symmetry. The rotational symmetry of a shape explains that when an object is rotated on its own axis, the shape of the object looks the same. Many geometrical shapes appear to be symmetrical when they are rotated 180 degrees or with some angles clockwise or anticlockwise. Fourth one is the foams and bubbles. These are patterns in nature that are formed from repeating spheres. Foams are volume of bubbles of many sizes where the spaces between each larger, larger bubble contain smaller bubbles. In some ways, foams can be fractal. The next is the wave pattern. It is most often seen when looking at the ocean from above. However, you can also see wave pattern in nature when the wind blows through the grass. From a design perspective, this pattern helps to increase edge which in turn increases your overall productivity. Next is tessellations. Tessellations are repeating tiles over a surface commonly seen in reptiles like snakes and alligators. Another one is stripes. The stripe pattern is evolutionary in that it increases the chances of survival through camouflage. It is most commonly known in zebras, but other species contain stripes, even cats. Another is fractal. Fractals is a never-ending pattern. Fractals are infinitely complex patterns that are still similar across different scales. They are created by repeating a simple process over and over in an ongoing feedback loop. Another pattern is crack. Crocs are linear openings that form in materials to relieve stress. When a material fails in all directions, it results in cracks. The patterns created reveal if the material is elastic or not. And lastly, the Mender pattern. A Mender pattern includes a series of regular sinus curves, bends, loops, turns, or winding in the channel of a river, stream, or other watercourse. When a river shifts its channel within a valley or it swings from side to side as it flows across its floodplain, it produces a minder pattern. And so, that's all for our activity about the patterns of nature. Remember that nature has um, patterns and so has life. God bless everyone and thank you for watching.